A very good morning to you and welcome to Prime Media Studios and welcome to the newspaper review for the 11th of August 2023. My name is Moses. Once again, thanks for staying with us. First, we'll go to the Vanguard this morning. The Vanguard newspaper top story there says on Niger, Echo was deploys standby force. John Tawans, they would kill the post president. John Tawans, they would kill the post president says um, the junta, the, there was a record that there was a military coup um, last last month in Niger and um, ECOWAS has been trying, going round the clock to make sure that um, democracy is restored. Um, but um, the junta won I got warning that they would kill the post-president if ECOWAS tries anything. Let's take a look at that in the screen and um, we'll come back to our topic for today. Echo has de deployed standby force. John warns they would kill the post president. They will kill the post president. ECOWAS head of state and government yesterday ordered immediate deployment of a standby force to restore constitutional order in the country. Despite opposition from eminent Nigerians and groups to the use of force against the coupist in Niger Republic, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, heads of state and government yesterday ordered immediate deployment of a standby force to restore constitutional order in the country. ECOWAS standby force, ESF, is a standby arrangement made up of military, police and civilian components, which is consistent with Chapter 6 of the United Nations Charter which provides for regional peace and um, security arrangements. The regional body also called on partners, including the United Nations, to support its efforts to ensure a quick restoration of order in conformity with its normative instruments. But the junta told the top United States diplomat yesterday that they would kill the post president, Mohammed Bazoum, if ECOWAS countries attempted any military intervention to restore his rule. ECOWAS decision came as after the military junta formed a new government and appointed 21 cabinet ministers to serve with the new prime minister, Mahamein Rufay Lauli, and as after Christian Association of Nigeria and also Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Fere warned against military intervention in Niger. Before the second extraordinary summit went into a closed door session in Abuja, Chairman of ECOWAS and Niger's Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu had said the body will adopt diplomatic approach and negotiations in dealing with the military junta. But arising from the meeting, the heads of state and government of ECOWAS in a communique resolved to deploy troops to restore constitutional government in Niger Republic. While nothing that the regional body will continue to keep all opposition options rather on the table. They, however, said there will be consequences for any individual body or member country found to hinder the peaceful resolution of the crisis in Niger Republic. The resolution, which was read by the president of the commission, Omar Aliu Turi, says that. And that's it on the Niger and ECOWAS um, deployment of, of military personnel, standby military personnel, um, to Niger Republic. A news following that says Southeast Governor's Reps Army move against insecurity. Southeast Government, Governor's rather, Reps Army move against insecurity. Another one says five reasons Naira is depreciating. Five reasons why Naira is depreciating. Um, Zamfara Assembly expresses worry over incessant bandit attack, attacks. Zamfara Assembly expresses worry over incessant bandit attacks. South Africa's Zuma quickly released after reporting to prison. South Africa's Zuma quickly released after reporting to prison. The Kotobo tra tragedy, how my brother's wife was crushed to death, daughter in coma. How my brother's wife was crushed to death, daughter in coma. Transfer Liverpool agree 110 million euros fee to sign Britain midfielder Kesido, that is um, 
on the sports. Now let us now move on to the Punch newspaper this morning. The Punch newspaper top story that says CBN releases financial statements of seven years amid investigation. CBN releases financial statements of seven years amid investigation. And news at the top left of the newspaper says Burkina Faso's junta suspends radio station over Niger criticism. Burkina Faso's junta suspends radio station over Niger's criticism. No officer was arrested at Semeboda, says NIS, Nigerian Immigration Service. No officer was arrested at Semeboda, says NIS. On the sport scene, Liverpool agree British record 111 million euros fee with Britain to sign Kesido. And that's on sports. CBN releases financial statements of seven years amid investigation. That is it. Quotes yes, it may feel it. DSS applications, August 15th. Court hears a Mephile and DSS applications in August 15th. That's that on Punch newspaper. If you want more details, you could log on to their website or get to their fiscal session, fiscal site for more details. Let us not move on to the nation this morning. Top story, featured story there says, why we didn't buy army trucks from Innocent? Why we didn't buy army trucks from Innocent. That was said by the Abia State Governor Alex Oti. US backs echo as decision on Niger. US backs echo as decision on Niger. ECOWAS puts troops on standby for Niger Rep Junta. ECOWAS puts troops on standby for Niger Rep Junta. UTM is best candidate makes. 8A1 in Waek. UTME's best candidate makes 8A1 in Waek. General Aguay Jaga Uwais Bugaje, eight others don't use force on coupists. General Aguay Jaga Uwais Bugaje, eight others. Please don't use force on coupists. That is from the nation this morning. Now the Daily Trust, we can see the ASU strike logo. ASU Academic Staff Union of Universities logo um, says ASU knocks federal government over the solution of universities governing councils. ASU knocks federal government over the solution of universities governing council. At the top left of that newspaper says Nigerians kick as ECOWAS orders deployment of troops. Nigerians kick as ECOWAS orders deployment of troops. Also, how Niger coup is affecting businesses in border communities. How Niger coup is affecting businesses in border communities. We are underpaid, says a Nollywood actor. That's on entertainment. We are underpaid, says a Nollywood actor. That is that on the ASU. That is that on the Daily Trust this morning. Let us now move on to the Daily Sun. The Daily Sun says, the cover page says, ECOWAS orders defense chiefs to activate standby force against Niger Junta. ECOWAS orders defense chiefs to activate standby force on Niger Junta. Adebayo urges military to return to barracks. On Still on Niger coup, Adebayo urges military to return to barracks. Action Alliance defeats INEC PDP as appeal court orders return of case to tribunal. Action Alliance defeats INEC and also PDP as appeal court orders return of case to tribunal. Three killed as police raid hoodlums camp at Imufu, Enugu community. Three killed as police raid hoodlums camp at Imufu in Enugu state. Southeast governors hail security agencies over improved security in the region. Southeast governor hails security agencies over improved security in the region. INEC still open to future collaboration with EU. INEC still open to future collaboration with EU, says Yakubu. That is that on the daily, the, the Sun Nigeria. Let us now move on to channels. 
The front page says, Niger Junta threatens to kill Bazoum over planned military intervention, says. Niger Junta threatens to kill Bazoum over planned military intervention. ECOWAS Commission President Omar Aliu Toure said that he could only reaffirm the decisions by the military authorities in the sub-region to deploy a standby force to the community. Niger's President Mohamed Bazoum pre presents his national statement as part of the World Leaders Summit of the COP26 UN Climate Change Conference in Gaslow, Scotland on November 1st, 2021. That's more about the uh, um, President Bazoum. According to a report by the Associated Press on Thursday, two Western officials said the Putschists issued the threat while speaking to a top US diplomat. This came shortly before the Economic Committee of West African States, ECOWAS, said it had directed the deployment of a standby force to restore democracy in Niger. After its deadline of Sunday to restore Bazoum's government expired, the threat to the deposed president raises the stakes both for ECOWAS and for the junta, which has shown its willingness to escalate its actions since it seized power on July 26. Niger was seen as the last country in the Sahel reg region, south of the Sahara Desert, that Western nations could partner with to counter jihadi violence linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group that has killed thousands and displaced millions of people. The international community is scrambling to find a peaceful solution to the country's leadership crisis. The AP report disclosed that a Western military official speaking on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the situation said the representatives of the junta told US under Secretary of State Victoria Newland of the threats to Basom during her visit to the country this week. A US official reportedly confirmed that account, also speaking on condition of anonymity because they were not author authorized to speak to the media. The threats from both sides escalate tensions, but hopefully merge them closer to actually talking. Said Annelise Bernard, a former US State Department official who specialized in African Affairs and it's now Director of Strategic Stabilization Advisors, a risk advisory group. Still, this junta has escalated its moves so quickly that it's possible they do something more extreme as that has been the approach to, so far rather, he cautioned. Nine leaders from the 15 member West African bloc met Thursday in Abuja to discuss their next steps. After, after, after speaking, the talks, President of the ECOWAS Commission, Omar Aliu Toure, said he could only reaffirm the decisions by the military authorities in the sub-region to, to deploy a standby force of the community. Financing had been discussed and appropriate measures have been taken, he said. He claimed the junta for any hardship, he blamed the junta for any hardship caused by the sanctions imposed on Niger and said further actions by the bloc would be taken jointly. And the news following that says South Africa's Zuma quickly released after reporting to prison. South Africa's Zuma quickly released after reporting to prison. Troops ambush Boko Haram terrorists in Bornu, neutralizing two. Troops ambush Boko Haram terrorists in Bornu state, neutralizing two. Appointing only five ministers from Southeast is unfair and unjust, says Ohanesi. Appointing only five ministers from Southeast is unfair and unjust, says Ohanesi. Governor Rada rules out negotiation with terrorists. Governor Rada rules out negotiation with terrorists. ECOWAS well, seeks UN backing order standby force against Niger Junta. ECOWAS well, seeks UN backing orders standby force against Niger Junta. Southeast governors fought to decisively fight insecurity to the, in the region. Southeast governors vowed to decisively fight insecurity in the region. Niger crisis, no caption off the table, including force, says Tinubu. No, no option, rather, off the table, 
including force, says Tinubu. Tribunal sacks Kano NNPP rep over alleged certificate forgery. Tribunal sacks Kano NNPP rep over alleged certificate forgery. And this is the newspaper review for the August 11th, 2023. If you want more of those news, you could log on to the website of that, those different outlets or visit their fiscal store nationwide. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Moses and see you in the next hour for the big story. Goodbye.